The Antarctic, a continent of superlatives. Icebergs and fragments of glaciers thousands of years old are the glittering magic of the White Continent. Life in the most extreme climate on Earth. A world of unique fauna has adapted to life on the Antarctic continent and the sub-Antarctic islands. Experts in survival in a multitude of form and variety, on land and in the ocean. With the Bremen and the Hanseatic from Habag Lloyd Cruises, guests can journey to the most fascinating and inaccessible corners of the Earth. Our onboard expedition zodiacs ensure the most intense experience. Most expeditions to the southern continent begin in Ushuaia, at the southern tip of Argentina. Visiting the Falkland Islands and the natural wonders of South Georgia. South Orkney and the South Shetland Islands and journeying on to the Antarctic Peninsula and the Southern Polar Circle. An expedition to the Antarctic demands a high level of nautical expertise. The experience and broad knowledge of our team on board guarantee a very special voyage. The captain, his officers and the crew make every day of the expedition into something unique and unforgettable with their experience and flexibility. For me, the Antarctic is not just the sixth continent, but a whole new planet, the ninth planet. People who come here are confronted with things that they have never experienced before. Everybody knows wind and animals, but here it's just a new dimension. And it's my objective to show you things that will make you speechless. And my goal is to really, in a very special form, Ja, sprachlos zu machen. Mankind has been fascinated by the continent of ice for centuries. Many explorers have attempted to master its challenge. The fascination has never diminished. Today we are aware of the dangers that the ice holds. Small and maneuverable vessels like the Bremen with up to 155 passengers and the Hanseatic with a maximum of 175 passengers are ideal for these waters. Both of the Hapag Lloyd expedition ships have the highest ice classification for passenger vessels. The bows are made of solid steel. A voyage through the ice is safe. The officers and crew are very experienced in navigating in ice. Even so, in the Antarctic, the weather and the ice dictates the itinerary. We have to accept things as they are, especially here. This is a place where you have to plan what is possible and not just what you want. Safety always comes first. The experienced expedition leaders know all the destinations. They always find the best possible alternatives, no matter what the ice conditions and weather. That is when an expedition to the Antarctic develops into a truly unique experience for the guests. I'm an emotional person, and I think it's breathtaking. I love nature and animals, and that's why I decided on this trip. You can just forget everyday stress. Lots of scientists here call it the white magnet, because they never seem to be able to get away from the frozen continent. A Gentoo penguin makes its way to hunt for food for its offspring, right in front of the eyes of the visitors. 
Sometimes the animals in Port Lockroy don't stick to the rules about keeping a minimum distance between animals and visitors. But the expedition leaders make sure that all goes well. Man sieht den Tieren nicht an, wenn sie Stress haben. Sie sitzen oder stehen. You can't see if an animal is suffering under stress. But the frequency of their heartbeat rises if they're experiencing fear. And that is why we should always keep to the suggested minimum distance. There's been a scientific study which has shown that the animals here do not suffer stress from contact with humans. But that may only be here. Other islands may be completely different. There are also large penguin colonies on Peterman Island. The ships on board Expedition Zodiacs with well-trained helmsmen bring our guests safely through the ice to the island. Two species of penguins and numerous petrels share the island. Gentoo penguins and Adelie penguins with their black heads nurture their young. Adelie penguins have become quite rare, even in these regions. By the end of February, late summer in the Antarctic, most of the penguin chicks are almost fully grown. Soon they will be leaving the island, moving with the building winter ice. Rocky, steep coastlines are the habitat of a further species of penguin which they share with albatrosses and blue-eyed cormorants. The rockhoppers can jump about a foot and a half high from standstill. The sub-Antarctic island group of South Georgia is one of the few remaining natural wonders of the world. A paradise for animals, with huge colonies of king penguins. Penguins take to the water to greet us. Elephant seals and Antarctic fur seals are also on the beach. Good morning, just step over here. The seals are sometimes aggressive, so please stay behind the barrier and keep a distance of about 50 feet from the seals. Gold Harbour, the name of this bay where our experts are waiting to show the guests the stunning landscape and thriving fauna. Back there you can see a lovely male and his smaller female that he protects. Please keep your distance. Remember, the closest you should be is 50 feet. The experts that travel with each voyage will answer any questions they're asked, in this case regarding the life cycle of the huge elephant seal bulls. The young animals that come to the beach a little later have a tough life. They're forced back to the second or third row by the so-called beach masters. The alpha males have up to 40 females in their harem, and they prevent any females getting past them. So most of those higher up the beach never manage to mate and propagate. <laughs> King penguins, elephant seals, biology generally and specifically, geology or history, whatever you want to know, the teams of experts on the voyages with the Hanseatic and with the Bremen will be on hand to answer all your questions. They offer lectures in advance giving you the background to make the trips ashore more exciting and discussions afterwards to compare experiences. Salisbury Plain, also a bay on the island of South Georgia, is beyond imagination. Sea lions, gentoo penguins, and what is estimated to be the largest king penguin colony on Earth.
than 100,000 animals make this bay their home. The moments spent here will last beyond the mere duration of the visit. To me, this is the most beautiful place on Earth. And today has been a perfect day for our visit. Landing and returning to the ship is safe and easy for everyone, thanks to the well-trained crew and the experienced Zodiac helmsman. Zodiac tours to coasts where it is not possible to land offer a rare chance to experience otherwise inaccessible treasures of nature. The steep and rocky coasts are the habitat of macaroni penguins. Only about one in a thousand seals are white. Macaroni penguins are master climbers and throw themselves fearlessly into the surf. To experience the wonders of nature close up like this, you need a little luck and a good man at the helm of the zodiac. These daredevil little animals owe their name to the yellow feathers on their heads. There are only a few small ships that can reach places like this at all. But the Zodiacs make a visit a real expedition experience. Back on board, the view from deck is fascinating. Bizarre landscapes and the ever-present wildlife. Many species of whales visit the Antarctic seas at this time of year, and they often approach the ship. Humpback whales are not shy and frequently come very close. Wir verfolgen keine Tiere. Wir stellen ihnen nicht nach und sobald sie erste Anzeichen machen vom Fluchtverhalten We don't pursue the animals. And if they show any signs of trying to get away from us, we let them. But humpback whales seem to like being around the ship. Tiere, die am gefälligsten sind. An encounter with these giants of the ocean is an unforgettable experience. Their very dimensions are hard to imagine from a mere picture, but the experience is one you will never forget. I've stopped running for the camera every time a whale is sighted. I just enjoy the moment, right there with them, not just behind a lens. A voyage to the Antarctic is a journey of extremes. The history of the legendary explorers is everywhere to be discovered. Today's scientists maintain the quest for knowledge, studying climate change and nature in this unique environment. The expeditions on board the Hanseatic and the Bremen also visit state-of-the-art research facilities. The islands present a wide variety of experiences for the nature lover. The bay of Half Moon Island, for example, lies sheltered from the wind. If the weather is good, it is really worth exploring away from the scientific base camp. Various species of seal can be encountered in the rocky landscape. Elephant Island brings highlights of history and nature together. It was here that the expedition of Sir Ernest Shackleton was stranded in 1916. 22 men survived the Antarctic winter in this hostile place. A mighty glacier in the south of the island is our destination today. When the sun shines, the terminus of the glacier that reaches into the ocean starts to break up and comes crashing down into the bay. That is called calving.
on the isthmus where Shackleton's crew were stranded is a bust commemorating the Chilean captain who rescued them. The morning sun spreads its orange light onto the snow-capped peaks around one of the most beautiful bays of the Antarctic, Paradise Bay. A bay surrounded by glaciers. The whalers who gave the bay its name were not exaggerating. A walk to the top of the small hill reveals the panorama of the sheltered bay. The whalers saw a frozen paradise in the ice of the surrounding glaciers. The sunlight sparkling in the ice crystals and reflecting in the calm of the sea in the sheltered bay can best be experienced from the zodiacs. A trip along the glacier and among the icebergs reveals the true splendor of the landscape. A profound respect for the wonderful beauty of untouched nature. A still moment to reflect. Awe inspiring even for experienced seafarers. Even when we motor off, we have a really so an schweigen. Also, that was mir vorhin auch auch aufgefallen wirklich. Und wenn man dann einfach mal when you stop the motor and just listen to the quiet. It's really quite powerful. Before a glacier crashes down, there's a clicking and cracking sound in the ice. Nothing to say. Words just aren't enough. Entlastungsrisse, Brüche sich hinten auftun dann ist Sprache versagt hier. Taking the impressions of the frozen paradise with us, the journey continues. Further highlights are waiting to be discovered on the Antarctic expedition. As so often in life, the journey itself can become the destination. Icebergs in a sea as calm as a mill pond. The entrance to the Le Maire Channel, a narrow sea channel sheltered by towering cliffs and ice-capped mountains. Depending on the ice conditions, the passage through the spectacular channel is not always possible. But when the weather is favorable, it is a magical experience. Deception Island seems unreal and presents a startling contrast to the icy world around. The crater formed by the eruption that created the island is connected to the sea by a narrow channel. The Bremen and the Hanseatic are maneuverable enough to enter the caldera and bring the guests safely onto the beach. The heat of the volcanic activity melts the snow even up to the mountain tops. Warm water flowing down evaporates to steam as it meets the icy sea. It is a challenging climb to the edge of the crater, but the view from the top is well worth the effort. An expedition to the Antarctic is a journey to the most amazing wonders of nature. Even modern technology is pushed to its limits by this journey to the end of the Earth. 
Only nautical competence and experience, combined with local knowledge and flexibility, can make the expedition into a safe and unforgettable experience. These unique encounters with wild animals, the spectacular zodiac trips and exploration of untouched nature are experiences never to be forgotten, where nothing should be left to chance. Bei einer Reise in die Antarktis sollten Sie in jedem Fall darauf achten, dass Sie ein kleines Schiff wählen, wie es die Bremen und bei When traveling to the Antarctic, be careful to choose a small ship that is not restricted in shallow water. Larger ships can't get into the small anchorages and narrow channels. Hinzu kommt die Eisklasse, die unbedingt erforderlich ist. Auch da bietet die Hand. The ship navigating these waters should have the highest ice classification for passenger ships. First of all for safety, but also to make it possible to experience the ice close up. The nautical crew on the bridge and in the zodiacs must have the necessary experience. And there are always five or more experts on board to prepare you for the visit to shore and to discuss what you've experienced afterwards, which always makes the experience even better. On an expedition to the Antarctic with the Bremen or the Hanseatic, you will be enchanted by an untouched paradise that will exceed your greatest expectations, broaden your horizons and enrich your life.